Hey guys, so over here I do have an iPhone 4 with iOS 7.1 and one with 7.0 uh, versions. 7.0 of course, it has a .x version as well. And the .x version is, let's see here, it's also jailbroken. So you can see here, 7.0.4 version here. And we can also see it has Cydia installed. Uh, and what does this iPhone have over here? Of course, it's the final iOS 7.1. 11D169. So I'm gonna do a boot up here, compare it to a jailbroken iPhone here, which, where you can install tweaks uh, and all those uh, kind of interesting things. Uh, I have disabled most of them right now. So let's see here. Hmm. How do I multitask on this one? I don't remember. Oh well. Let's turn them off. So older version here of iOS uh, on the iPhone 4 is on the right side. And on the left side here, we do have the uh, iOS 7.1. And both take some time here to turn off. It really, really depends sometimes. Some iPhones are very, very quick booting down. Depends also on different versions. There we go, very, very identical. So let's go. And hopefully the left one here will be a little bit quicker at least. Jailbreak also usually slows down the device a little bit extra. So the iOS 7.0 with Jailbreak could be even slower here. It would be pretty cool if it was only like five seconds behind. 7.1 final edition. We can see here the 7.1 soon will start up here. And it could differ even maybe 7 to 10 seconds. Okay, so let's see here how far behind it is. Is it around 10 seconds? Yes, it seems to be around 10 seconds, I think. 10 seconds behind 7.4 with a jailbreak could be cool, fun, and interesting to know here. I also might do some other videos, checking these two out in uh, maybe some app opening and, and some other random things here that I might try out if people are interested more in that. Uh, and also might do an overall comparison look uh, because I like the feedback that I'm getting, uh, people commenting and stuff, and I can definitely take a look at more things in depth. Peace out.